Jesse Sturgeon, keep off her way to the top. Can Aaron hot shot dope burn past her up the crag? Or will they feel the fire of Joshua, the dragon Guzman, breathing down their backs? Do you have it? I'm Mike O'Malley. Welcome to the Extreme Arena. This is Nickelodeon Guts. Do you have it? It takes a certain kind of something to keep the heart pumping and something everybody needs to achieve to succeed. You need a lot. Do you have it? Do, 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 do. How does it feel to play above the rim to come eye to eye with Patrick Ewing and come away with the slammer jammer to soar 15 feet up in the air and do a little dunking? Well, in our next event, Slamma Jammer, our players will get that experience. Let's go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for the rules. Hey, Mo, how you doing today? I'm feeling great, Mike. Thank you. At the sound of my whistle, each player will have 30 seconds to try and slam dunk as many baskets as possible while the other two players try to reject their shot. The player with the most baskets wins. Mike? All right, so our players up on the aerial bridge and ready. Jessica will be first in blue. On your mark, get set. Okay, so we'll see what Jessica can do right here as she goes sky high and puts it through the hole. Oh, yeah, she got it dunked over Barkley's head in that one, folks. Getting great height in the block there. Now, remember, folks, defense is also extremely important as you stop the other players from scoring. That will help your score and tipped right out of there at the last second. Timer it, time it out with about six seconds. Four seconds left as she goes up for a third score. Nice timing, but the block. Okay, so not only the timing is important, but the good defense and the reflexes to block the shot was important, as you saw in that last segment. Let's go to Mo and get the results. Mo. Jessica scored one basket, Mike. One basket. Okay. So one basket. Jessica had a little bit of trouble getting to the rim and slamming it home. We'll see what our next player can do. On your mark, get set. Okay, so we'll see if Erin can get a little bit closer to the basket as she goes up with determination, firing it home right there. I tell you, boom! Oh, no! So she sort of lobbed that one up in the rim. Is now she's having trouble getting the momentum back up on the aerial bridge. The question here: Who's hankering for the heights of athletic greatness and slam a jammer and boom? Back up with two baskets is four seconds. She now has the lead in this event and goes up for a third and there. So at the tail end of that event, she had a little bit of trouble in the middle, but she had the quick hands that gave her the ability to fall through and finish the last two hoops. Let's go to Mo. Erin scored three baskets. All right, so three baskets for Erin. We'll see what Joshua can do next. On your mark, get set. Okay, no time for Joshua to be cavalier. We'll see what he can do and right straight up. So he just is taking it straight to the hole with determination and overpowering our players. But right there, that bounced out because he didn't go through with as much determination. He's going to really have to hustle. He needs two more baskets to tie Aaron. He's going to have to pick up the pace, folks. It's going to be very close. Let's see if he can go to the hole with a little more power. Blocked by our two ladies right there. So now he's going for second place points as he goes up. Oh! And threading the needle, severing the defense, scored that second basket. Let's go to Mo and find out if the results are official. Mo. They are official. Joshua scored two baskets. So Aaron is in first place. Joshua in second. Jazzy, Jesse in third. Okay, so excellent work right here. Going for the tie, though. Trying to get it. And the block by Blue. Yeah, that was Jessica in Blue blocking that shot. And taking away the tie for first place that Joshua might have got. All right, let's go to Mo and now check out our leaderboard, Mo. Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Erin. In second place with 200 points, Joshua. In third place with 100 points, Jesse. All right, folks. Well, the first event is only the first event. We got a bunch more coming up. Let's go to Mo and check out our event lineup for today. Mo. Here they are, Mike. We've just seen our Slam Fest Slammer Jammer. Coming up next is our Baseball Diamond Obstacle Course Extreme Baseball. We'll kick off the second half pull side with Boogie Down and then go and try and shoot some bullseyes out there on the arena. And our last event, the Mega Crank. Oh, yeah, the little block right there. Well, that's only our first event, ladies and gentlemen. And the player who, with the most points at the end of all of our events, gets to take home an awesome piece of our Radical Rock. But right now, it's time for Jessica to spill her guts.
Hi, I'm Jazzy Jesse. I enjoy basketball, tennis, soccer, volleyball, and softball. When I'm not involved in physical activities, you can catch me reading a good book or hanging out with my friends. Trying for an inside the park home run has never been tougher. It's extreme baseball. And on our base paths today, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the Ken Griffey Jr. swing. They're going to swing over to an elevated first base. That's our stuntman, Roman. They're going to go down the fire pole and into the elastic jungle. Don't bungle in this jungle. you got an elevated second base. Go up that column and then down, boom, into the airbag. Third base coach waving you on. Get over there to an elevated third base. You go up the cargo net, down that slide, and then right over here to this rope. Do a little James Lofton up there, boom, down into home plate. Let's go to Mo, Mo. Mike, our players will be timed from the batter's box to home plate. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. Okay, on your mark, get set. Okay, so Jesse's up first. Deep dive! Oh, oh yeah, it's still up in the air. What a shot. She really got a hold of that one, ladies and gentlemen. And it's off the top of the wall. So it's off the top of the wall as she goes through the jungle. And the outfielders are trying to chase it down. But she's a trouble back there. Back off the wall. It's bouncing. They're running out. He tripped. He tripped going after the ball as she continues to climb. All right, picking up the ball as she rolls out a second. He missed the cutoff, man. Oh, folks, Jesse's continuing her climb up the cargo net, and they're trying to track down the ball on the outfield as she comes sliding down. Here's the throw. The cutoff man has it. Here's the throw to the plate as she slides down. It's going to be close. What's it going to be safe? So she slides right into the plate. Let's get the results from Mo. Mo. Jesse clocked in at 47.7 seconds, Mike. Fantastic work for Jesse, and Jesse goes went into that event with 100 points in third place. She needed a good time. On your mark, get set. This is Erin, our leader, as she goes into this event. A quick start is extremely important. That'll keep up your confidence and help you set a fast pace, which you're gonna need when you get into the jungle. As you see right there, the time to beat 47.7 seconds. Speed is the most important thing in this event right here, but agility is especially important as they're going up the column. Who is going to occupy the top level of our award ceremony? The Guts Gold. This event will play a part in that, and that is definitely what's going through our players' minds right here. She's going to really have to hustle as she goes up the cargo net onto our elevated third base, and she's really going to have to pick up the pace, and she's going to beat that time. Okay, here's the throw. It's going to be close at the plate, but it doesn't look like she's going to beat that time. She's going for a personal best. She has 300 points going into this event. She's our leader. She's going to have to hustle. Here's the play at the plate. Boom. A little lunar crash landing right there for Aaron. Giving a little peace sign. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Aaron clocked in at 53.8 seconds. All right, 53.8 seconds for her. Chop, chop. Looks like Joshua's up next. Here he is. On your mark, get set. Okay, so Joshua. Oh, knees up high, and he gets right down there, down the fire pole. Abusing that fire pole right into the elastic jungle. Now look at how he goes low. He goes a lot lower than our other players and gets out of the elastic jungle. He's already up to second base in 15 seconds and right onto the column. Sheer brute strength pulling himself up there as he goes to in to the airbag and rolling out. He is at unbelievable time, folks. This is very much in his grasp. He went into this event with 200 points, 100 points behind our leader. And although his knees weren't up, he has to hustle back down there. He's got 10 seconds to get down. Actually, more than that, 12 seconds. It looks like victory's in his grasp. Here's the play. The purple section's going wild for their representative, Joshua. Let's go to Mo and get the official time. Mo. Joshua clocked in at 39.3 seconds. That puts him in first place. Jesse in second place. Aaron in third place. Excellent work. Let's take a look at a little replay right here. He could feel the competition at hand. And this aggressive young man, Joshua, no stopping this guy. Look at how low he goes in the elastic jungle. Really hustling down there. Determination, terrific work on him. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard standings. Mo. Well, taking the lead now is Joshua in purple with 500 points in second place. Aaron in red with 400 points in third place. Jesse in blue with 300 points. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to be kicking up a little water action next. They kicked up their spikes. We'll be right back. Guts. 
Welcome back to Guts. It's the Mike and Mo halftime show. I'm Mike. She's Mo. And Mo, somebody's going home with.